Hello boys and girls, we are from Sita Mrongai Children's Choir, ready to lead you in worship. Let's pray. Thank you God, thank you for this day, thank you for the gift of life, thank you for interesting parents, thank you for the strength that you, that you have enabled us to come here and sing for your presence. That is in Jesus' name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen.
Good morning, boys and girls. We thank you for joining us on this beautiful day and uh, being part of our ministry. We are so glad that you've taken your time to tune in, to listen, and even to watch us this uh, beautiful day. Thank you, praise and worship, for your time in uh, leading us to that wonderful, powerful, and awesome moment as we praised the Lord. May we start with a word of prayer, even as we continue our lesson for today. Dear God, thank you for this day that you've given to us. We start this lesson, Lord, by inviting you to lead us, to guide us, to teach us, and even to direct us, O God, in the things that you've recorded in your word, as we shall be reading in our lesson. How, Lord, we pray that you shall bless each and every one of us, Lord, and may your grace and your mercies your love, O oh Lord, be upon each and every of our hearts. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wonderful. Boys and girls, what can you remember about the lessons that we have covered this far in this year? Do you remember the very first lesson? The second lesson? How about the theme lessons that uh, our previous teachers have taken us through. Do you remember taking new territories with teacher Rehema? How about the promise of the new territories with teacher Masi? How about the memory verse? Did you do the lesson activities that they gave you? Wow, you are awesome boys and girls and I know you are. You've been following us and you're doing every Assignment. assignment. Yeah. Now as we begin our lesson, boys and girls, let me ask you, have you been, ever been to a park? Maybe a zoo somewhere to see animals? And how about you going to a new school this year, maybe some time ago? Going to the mall the first time? All going even up country, it was your first time? What did you see and what did you hear there? Did you see new people, new animals, new places? And maybe you were scared, excited, maybe afraid of something. Did you carry a camera like this to take snapshots? Maybe uh, these days I know you have cell phones, maybe to take some selfies with you. During our times, we used to carry cameras like this one. And I remember those days when I would go to a new place and I would be very afraid, very scared of people and things. But these days, because I'm big, I am no longer scared. Now, boys and girls, our lesson today is about seeing. Let's all say together, seeing. Seeing what? new territories, seeing new territories. And what is seeing new territories? You have already learned about taking new territories. We've learned about the promise of the new territories. We even learned what is a territory. And now today we are seeing territories. So what is a territory? And what is seeing new territories? Seeing new territories means discovering or focusing our eyes to new areas or new people all going to areas where we've not been before and uh, uh, and telling those people there the good news or the word of god the good news about jesus or the word of god this could be a new church have you transferred your church maybe to a new place about uh, maybe a new neighborhood, yeah, those new areas that you've gone are new territories. And when you go there, you definitely see new things. Maybe people, animals, chairs in school, maybe church, desks, and everything else. But us, we are seeing new people that we have never told the word of God, or we never shared the gospel of Christ with, and that is all about seeing new territories. So our Bible story today 
comes from the Bible, from the book of Numbers, and we have a new teacher, a young person who is going to be reading for us. Listen carefully so that we can continue. Our Bible story comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and chapter 14, verse 1 to 24. It is the story of the 12 spies that were sent by Moses to spy a new territory. After traveling for some years, the Israelites reached at the edge of Canaan, the land that God had promised them through Abraham. God told Moses to send some men to spy out the land of Canaan, a man from each tribe. Do you know how many tribes of Israel are recorded in the Bible? Twelve. So the twelve men were sent. They were to find out about the land and the people in the land, if the people were strong or weak, whether they lived in cities or camps, what fruits the land produced, and if they had forests or not. He asked them to bring back some of the fruit that they would get. The men went into the land and found that it was really a good land. The grapes were so big that it took two men to carry a cluster of them on a pole between them. But the people there were very big and tall, and the spies were afraid of them. After 40 days, they returned to their camp and showed Moses the good fruit they had found in the land. Ten of the men began to narrate about the giants and how fearful they were. They told of the large cities with high walls around them. We cannot go to this land, they said. We are just like grasshoppers in their own sight and also in the sight of the people there. The rest of the people were described raged and they cried and moaned. They regretted why they left Egypt. They thought that they were tricked by Moses to come and die in the land of giants. But how could they not remember what God had done for them? This annoyed God very much. But two men, Caleb and Joshua, said, Let's go up at once and take possession, for we are able to overcome it. The Israelites were afraid to go and take Canaan as God had wanted. Because of their unbelief, God punished them, making them to wander in the desert for 40 years. This meant one year for every day the spies had gone. Out of the 12 men, only Joshua and Caleb had entered into Canaan. The rest died in the desert. Boys and girls, what did you hear? What did you see? Did you see those images? Yeah. Now, as we continue, may I ask you, if it were you, which side do you think you would have been when the spies gave their report? Which side? The ten spies or Caleb and Joshua's side? Aha! Uh -huh. And what made Caleb and Joshua's report different from the rest? Let us learn together and we can see or we will know how to answer these questions. So what are we learning? What are we learning from our Bible story today? Number one, new territories belongs to God. In Numbers chapter 13 verses 1, as we've read, as we've been narrated to, it reads, the Lord said to Moses, send some men to explore the land of Canaan which I am giving to the Israelites. God created the heavens, the earth, the universe, and everything that is therein. And when he created all this, he has directed us to go and to go to every place that he has made and tell of the wonderful message of Jesus Christ. He's the one who created the heavens, the earth, the oceans, the trees, what else did he make? Yes, and he has ordered us to go to every place and tell the wonderful news of Jesus Christ. We also learned in the previous lesson that Matthew chapter 28 verses 19, 20, what does it say? Go to all the land and do what? Proclaim the, uh, the gospel of Jesus. So the world and everything belongs to God and we have the responsibility or the command to go out and preach the gospel of Jesus. Number two, 
we have learned from this story that God wants us to serve him everywhere. Everywhere. It doesn't matter where it is. It might be from your home, to the school, to the malls, to, the, uh, to, to every good new place that you can go. Maybe even a country, to a new country, wherever it is. Because God has not put us here on this earth uh, as an accident. We all have a purpose. All right, boys and girls? There is no one who was sent here on this earth or born as an accident. We were all born with a purpose. And that is to do what? To know God, to love God, and to obey God. And when we obey God, we go and tell others about this God. When we know God, we don't keep quiet, we go and tell others. And that is why God wants us to use our talents, our abilities, our skills to go and serve him everywhere. Maybe you know how to sing. You can sing some gospel songs. Maybe you know how to play a music instrument like a guitar. Maybe you know how to play the piano. You play for who? For Jesus. And when you pray a nice song that ministers to people, you are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And number three, we are learning that we should trust God. We should do what? Trust God in all situations. God doesn't want us to do things on our own. Have you been doing things on your own? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? When we invite him, he gives us strength and wisdom and also the knowledge. Strength, wisdom, and the knowledge to do what? To do that which he has commanded us to do. Maybe you have a talent. You have an ability. Maybe you've not yet discovered it. Trust God. When you trust God, he will show you what he wants you to do. Maybe you've been playing music in your bedroom. Now it's the time to go out and sing those songs, play those music instruments to your friends about Jesus and tell them what? Jesus loves you. This I know. Yes. Because Jesus loves everyone, everyone, the little one, the big ones, and even the very big people. He loves all of them. Why should we trust God in our situations? We have learned from Caleb and Joshua that they depended on God. They did not depend on themselves because they knew that with God on their side, even those mighty people that they had seen there, even those walls that were looking so huge, God is going to bring them down and take them to the uh, land of the promise. We learned about the promise and we learned that God keeps the promise. He keeps every promise. So in Numbers 14 verse 6 and 9, the Bible reads, And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Jephune, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, the land which we passed through to spy it out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, he will bring us into this land. Into this, uh, he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their protection is removed from them and the Lord with us is with us. Do not fear them. That's the Bible. So, Caleb and Joshua trusted God. And you know what, boys and girls? Eventually, they entered Canaan, the land of the promise, because they obeyed God. And what about those who did not obey God? God said, you're not going there because you did not trust in me and therefore you all perish in the 
land or the wilderness where they were. They never saw Canaan. Sometimes we face obstacles. Sometimes you are afraid or you are fearful of telling people about Jesus. Sometimes you feel maybe you don't have the right word to go and tell people about Jesus. Boys and girls, the Bible tells us to trust God and to obey him. And he will teach us the right word. Okay? He will teach us the right word that we need to know. So boys and girls, what, are we, what have we learned? In conclusion, we have learned that although Joshua and Caleb saw scary things in the new territories, they chose to trust God. They chose to see God working a miracle for them so that they can be able to get to the promised land, which was called Canaan. Number two, we have also learned that when we trust God, we, sorry, we can always trust God when we are afraid, just like Caleb and Joshua trusted God. And also we have seen that God is bigger and more powerful than anything or anyone else. And therefore, him alone should be worshipped. And thus we should always tell others about our big God and our strong God. Okay, boys and girls? And also, we've learned that we must always believe in God and his word. Joshua had listened to the word that God gave him, that he shall never leave him nor forsake him. And in our story today, we are seeing that Joshua remembered the promise of God. And when he remembered the promise of God, he believed that God is going to take him where? To the land of Canaan. Yeah, this is the promise that was given by who? By God to Abraham. All right? And you know what, boys and girls? There are so many promises in the Bible. Many, many promises for you and for me. Do you remember any? Do you know any? In the first place, do you know any promise? Okay, you can ask your parent to read the Bible for you to proclaim the promises of God upon your life. And you can start with which book? The book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Please go there and read the promises God has for each and every one of us. And also we've learned that we should always fix our eyes on God rather than the obstacles or the things that we always keep worrying about. Maybe you don't have nice shoes and you are afraid to go and tell people uh, about Jesus because your shoes don't look very nice. Maybe you are afraid of some guys who keep on bullying you. Always trust on God. And if there is someone who bullies you at school or in the neighborhood, you can tell your teacher or you can tell your parent about that person who bullies you. And never be afraid of them. And then you keep praying for them that God changes them. Maybe you don't know what to go and say. You can read the Bible. Okay? When you read the Bible, you get the message of Jesus and you are able to tell others what you learned from the book of God, which is called the Bible. So never be afraid. Always fix your eyes on Jesus. Boys and girls, whose report shall you believe? The report of the 10 spies who were so scared or the report of Joshua and Caleb, which is the report of God. I choose to believe in the report of God. And where can we get our confidence from? Where can we get the courage to tell others about Jesus? We only get it from God. And you can get that courage and the confidence like that of Caleb and Joshua from God himself when you hold, when you hide the word of God in your heart and you have received Jesus as Lord and Savior. I would want to pray with you if you've never received the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. Please, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, 
I come before you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Who deserves your forgiveness this morning? I pray that you come into my heart and make me new and that you may open my heart and put your word that I may go and tell others of the good thing that you've done for me on this day. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. Have you made that prayer? You are now a child of God, born again and courageous and never afraid of the giant of sin any longer in your life. Now, look for a Bible. Put the word of God in your heart. Read and pray every day so that you may grow and grow and grow and be more like Jesus. Okay, boys and girls. Now, it's time for our memory verse. And our teacher who was reading the story for us is also going to guide us on our memory verse for today. Our memory verse comes from the Bible, from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 21. It says, you will not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is among you, a great and powerful God. Our memory verse teaches us to always depend on God, because he is a great and powerful God. Let's say the memory verse together once again, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 21. It says, you will not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is among you, a great and powerful God. Good. And that's our memory verse for today. And now we do the last activity of our lesson, which is the lesson activity. And what are we making today? We want to make something that is going to help us to see new territories for Jesus. And what is this? A binoculars. A what? A binoculars. So what do we require for our lesson activity or for our craft today? We need some tissue rolls or tissue paper rolls. We need some either colored paper or plain paper. We need some crayons. We need some maybe watercolors and brushes. We also need some tapes. For me, I have clear ta uh, white tape and black tape. I also have some glue with me. I have some scissors. And what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to uh, wrap our tissue rolls with a nice well-colored or plain paper. And then we do it with what? With a glue. And then we uh, apply some tape. Remember, when you're using your scissors, to be very careful. Don't cut those little tiny fingers. We need them to go and tell others about Jesus. Okay? So when you have completed doing your craft with our raw materials, it will come out like this. Remember to also put a string. So what do I have here? I have some binoculars. Can I see far? Yeah, maybe I can see a territory where I need to go and tell Jesus. Remember also to write the memory verse for today and also the lesson title on your binoculars. Okay? Color it nicely. Hang it somewhere. This one, I'll be hanging it on my neck. Whenever I go, I look for new territories where I can tell people, uh, maybe children like you, about Jesus. Boys and girls, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time teaching this lesson and learning it together with you. And now before we say goodbye, allow me to pray that God is going to help us to see new territories for Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you for our lesson. We commit our hearts, our minds, and our bodies to you. May you use them that, Lord, we may be able to, able to see new territories and keep the promise and trust in you to go and tell others about you. 
May you help us, Lord, in times when we are afraid. And those people, Lord, who are not cooperating with you, O God, we pray for them that you may touch their hearts and change them and transform them to be more like you. And when we tell them about you, O God, we pray that they shall receive your word and be changed in your presence. Thank you, God, for our lesson for today. For our listeners and all those who have watched, we bless them with the love of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. And now, boys and girls, it's time for me to say goodbye. Remember, always see Jesus wherever you go. Bye.